Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies and gents, I just wanted to tell everybody that I am so glad that we are finally over that hurdle. There is no more reports about people uh, having to go to the hospital and the hospital is overflowing and other countries having to be on lockdown and shutdown and other cities having to be on lockdown and shut down that the kids are back in school the boys are back in town up anyway and china well china's still on lockdown don't know why china's still on lockdown but everybody else no other place that i've been hearing so i am so glad we are finally through that yay now let me go ahead and talk to you guys for a second uh yeah this video is going to be talking about eons getting worse now when Eon gets worse, I have to take care of that mother. Okay. So as he gets worse, then that takes away from my ability to do what I needs to do. So y'all just gonna have to bear with me because I got to wait on that mother hand and foot. And you don't know how demanding that idiot, man, see, he gonna hear me. Look, I can't talk too loud because he's in there asleep. Okay, I got to do this while that mother is asleep, because if I do it while he's awake, he's going to keep bothering me. And I ain't ever going to be able to get no video done. Okay, no, hold on. Okay, no, 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 he was just moving a little bit. I thought he was getting ready to get up, thought he heard me. Oh, that fool can hear in his sleep, okay? He, he, see, I got to, see, well, y'all got to remind me to keep my voice down, because that mother, man, y'all just don't know. Whew. You talk about, y'all think y'all living with somebody that, that that's impossible. It's just impossible. Impossible. It's just impossible. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, he's becoming more and more irritable. He has a low tolerance for, and I mean, I got a low tolerance for stupidity, but he he's even to an extreme now. It's like the least little thing pisses him off. You know, he just, he was talking with someone yesterday and yeah, he, he'll let me tell this because he said he, he was going to allow me to do a video on it. So he was talking with someone yesterday and while they were having a conversation, he was talking about the administrative appeals. And then he was talking about how he had did a video and he didn't put it up. He said he wasn't going to put it up because he says he, he promised that he wasn't doing no more videos. So I took... The information from the video and i did the video <laughs> yeah he, he no he don't mind me doing that yeah because he said it was um in reference to the money and that he had promised people that he would give them that information so he said he don't mind me doing that because it's as if i'm his surrogate i ain't that mother segregate i don't believe in segregation okay you know, you keep everybody separated and everything because they ain't no need to be um, uh, bringing them together. So I don't believe in bringing people together. I don't believe in segregation. All right. Just want to make sure y'all understand me because sometimes people don't get me when I say stuff. Okay. Getting back to the conversation now. Well, what he, what we, what he was talking about is that um, how the... March 9, 1933 Act is codified at Title 12, Section 412, well, 411 to 419, but we're going to focus on 412, which says all you need is that simple promissory note and an application. That's it. Now, I just did a video for you guys showing y'all how, you know, the Federal Reserve Board, <laughs> they sat up there and said, hey, we ain't got no information on how you do that. Thank you. How you do that there? We're going to follow the act as written. Ooh, doggy. Thank you very much. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you can get an application from a court, let's say the court has set bail at $5,000, $10,000, $100,000. $10, get an application from the court. What, where would you find an application at? We'll talk about that in a second. And then do your promissory note where you promise to pay this amount in full. Ladies and gentlemen, my phone is ringing and what I got to do is I got to let this person know that I can't answer. And so I'm going to send him a short message telling him I can't talk right now. Let me see what I got to see what that message says. Cause you know, I don't look at all my messages, but I got to see y'all hold on a second. 
Because I, I got messages that I just send out to people, but I, I redid them. That's right, I redid them. So let me tell you what this message says. This is a quick response message. Can't talk now. I'm talking to someone else that thinks they're more important than anyone else. And there seems to be a lot of those people around these days. We'll try to call you back. Okay, so that's uh, my quick response to people. Now, technically, I'm telling the person I can't talk right now because I'm talking to another person who thinks they're so important that I got to talk to them. Okay, that's what I'm saying technically. Getting back to the conversation with the young man, the courts have an application, ladies and gentlemen. It's called a fee waiver application. However, take that fee waiver application and where it says for filing and change that. Your fee waiver application, you all should be changing that from uh, filing fee waiver to, well, let's see. Hold on. Not that. I hit the wrong button. I hit that, and I shouldn't have hit that. Uh, the mouse between the two systems. Now, let's go ahead and correct that. Hold on. Give me a second, y'all. Let's go ahead, and we're going to correct this. We're going to click on the no. No, 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 no. All right, then we're going to come back here. Now, as we come back here, you got to get on out of here. Nobody wants you. Nobody wants you. Is it this one? Application to proceed without the payment of cost, fees, or security. No. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to keep this phone. We're going to get rid of this wording right here. This says informer. F R O M A. Pauperous. A poor person. And we're going to take away. Okay. Y'all see, see what I did right there? Y'all can do the same thing. Ain't nothing stopping you. And the top of the document. Now, this is the District of Columbia. Now, that all that going to be changed. You, got, you can't use their logo. Okay. Technically, you can, but I'm going to tell you, don't use their logo. And you don't want to use their junk. Okay. Just that simple. This is yours. It's a fee waiver, but you. this is the application. And you know... Title 12, Section 412 says that you have to attach the note. I will have this done in a couple of days. I'm not working on it right now. Uh, Microsoft is giving me a problem, and I'm about to get around that problem. Okay. Oh, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I got to stop something. You better stop, girl. Dog, get me around. You bet. What is all of this? I, I, I don't need that. Oh, 53 seconds, it'll be done. Five gigabytes. 53 seconds, hold on. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Oh, come on now. You said 53 seconds and tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. It's taking too long. Well, anyway, we'll come back to it and I'll shut it off. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, an application and a promissory note. I'm going to explain this because many of you are not getting it. The statute, the title, the law, the New Deal says that you are allowed to use your promissory notes to take care of your necessities, to purchase your necessities. Can you use the promissory note to pay someone else who is not a bank? Of course. Of course. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Of course you can use a promissory note. To purchase something from a friend, that is a necessity. But you got to be careful. You don't want to get yourselves in trouble for conspiring. Because some of you are going to be stupid. Oh, no, I'm sorry. What? You, you don't play averages? Some of you are definitely going to be stupid. Because some of you, that's the side of the, the, the tracks you grew up on. Where nothing but stupid grows on that side of the track. And you can't help it. It's in your nature to be stupid. And then there's some of you who ain't gonna do nothing because you, you you're lazy and you're 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 intimidated and scared and you gotta wait to see if Johnny.
comes marching home again, hoorah, hoorah. If Johnny comes marching home again, hoorah. No, not when Johnny comes, if he comes marching home again. Shoot, Johnny dead. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we got shot. He killed. He, he, he dead. Johnny is dead. Johnny ain't coming back home. That's why you can say if Johnny, no, he is a lost individual. He's lost on the battlefield. That's right. He is lost. He's not AOL, AWOL, but he lost on the battlefield. That's why they got that tomb of the unnamed soldier, because that was Johnny. Johnny, he ain't coming home again. That's why they'd be like, hurrah, if that fool come walking home again, man, whoo, man, that's going to be a miracle. Okay, so Johnny dead. Okay, just, no, Johnny dead. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, you have the right to do an application from an organization, or let's say your friend is selling a house and he wants to sell it to you. You have the right to do an application. Just go online. Download a banking application for a loan. Just type that in and look up the general applications. Do that with your friend. Don't do the financing. You don't need to do financing. No, they don't, you cannot charge your brother interest. Don't y'all know that? All right, and you? I'll put my letter up soon. Ladies and gentlemen, I will put my letter up soon. But you should be getting your own letter from the federal reserve board now mind you that was my intent i knew they were going to do exactly what they did i've been dealing with these idiots for too long ladies and gentlemen told you the first time that was a lawyer that responded i tell you this time this was definitely a lawyer that responded and you see especially when they do background and discussion stupid idiot what they didn't look they go online they hear these videos and they think they know who i am they have no clue. I am not the same on paper as I am on video. So, when I advise you guys to do the same thing, that's what you do to them. That's how you trap them. Let them do what they do. They're not intelligent, ladies and gentlemen. They've not even gone over this act. This thing, they people stopped using this act probably in the 60s. They, they stop. The banks still use it. The banks use it every day. But the banks, when they use it, they don't want you using it. They don't know that you're a banking institution. They don't read the presidential proclamation. They think that they, that junk is terminated. That's why we gave you guys, I think it's this right here. That's why we gave you this. This is called the New Deal. Download it because it has everything you need. It has the New Deal Congressional Act, the presidential proclamation 2039, then after that, it has the Trading with the Enemy Act amendment, and you have the Banking Act amendment. Okay? And then finally, you have the, well, that stuff don't exist no more. Finally, finally, it is half enemy right in front of my face, and I just cannot hide it. You turn away! Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. If you only knew the way I feel about you, then you would really understand that I just cannot deny it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the 93rd Congressional Senate Report. This is the one that talks about emergency power statutes. And this is the one that talks about for the last... Up 10 years, the United States has been in a state of declared national emergency. In fact, there are now, in effect, four presidential proclamations, states of national emergencies. In addition to the national emergency declared by Roosevelt 2039 and 1933, these proclamations give forth the first. 170 provisions of federal law, including the amendment to the Federal Reserve Act. These hundreds of statutes delegate to the president extraordinary powers, ordinarily exercised by Congress, which affects the lives of Americans. This is a hope for all encompassing measures and manners. The vast 
stranger powers taken together confer enough authority upon us to rule this country and to ignore the Constitution. Ladies and gentlemen, as long as you understand, there is a presidential order permitting you, that's right, you, and you, and you, oh, and you too. Yeah, no, let's not forget you too. Okay, and you to operate as a banking institution. Say what? That's right. That's why I asked him about a banking institution. As used in this order, the term banking institution shall include all Federal Reserve banks, all of them. Uh oh, so they should know this. National banking associations, banks, banks, trust companies, savings banks, building and loan associations, credit unions, and other corporations, partnerships, associations, or persons. In the business of receiving deposits, making loans, and transacting any other form of banking business. So they're supposed to know this because this is still the law. Pay attention. Need you all to pay attention to authorize. Who's to authorize it? The Secretary of Treasury during the banking holiday with the approval of the president and under such regulations as the Secretary of the Treasury may prescribe through the Federal Reserve Bank. And remember, the Federal Reserve Bank operates as the Secretary of Treasury. Okay? But it says to authorize and direct the creation of such banking institutions for special trust accounts for the receipt of new deposits which shall be subject to withdrawal on demand without any restrictions or limitations and shall be kept separately in cash or on deposit with the Federal Reserve Bank. Ladies and gentlemen, Secretary of the Treasury authorizes it, makes regulations, makes rules. Now, I just need y'all to understand everything you need here. Everything is right here. Your whole explanation as to what's going on, all you got to do is study it. Then you start moving. Okay, now some of you will have to go to court. You will have to fight. You will not be able to just walk on in that door and say, give me my money and walk back out. Some of you are going to have to fight. The system is going to make you fight. But get a jury trial and bring this as your evidence. There you go. That puts a stop to all of it. Oh, and those of you who file your motions in court and use this statute, to pay bonds and pay bail, those are necessities, okay? When you do that and they ignore you and they're gonna ignore you, especially those of you who have those million dollar bills because you done killed somebody. Now I'm not saying that murderers and rapists and people like that, I, it's not my job to judge. You're innocent until proven. So if you have to bond out pending trial, do it like the rich folks do, post bond. Follow the law. Anybody get mad at you for following the law? I don't think so. Yeah, they're going to get pissed off. They they really going to get pissed off. And they probably going to take this channel down. Because <laughs> I told them to leave me the, alone. And they want to keep playing me for a fool. Ladies and gentlemen, the final thing I'm going to say, because we're going to end this about nine, 19 minutes, 30 seconds, but no longer than 20 minutes, is... I don't care. I said in the other video, IDK, I don't care. I don't care if they shut the channel down. I don't care if they don't like me. I don't care if they can kiss my... I don't care. It doesn't fade me one way or the other. My beliefs are what they are. I do know that this world of mankind is coming to its end. No, not everything being destroyed like these idiots teach. Yes, right, I said it. But according to the way the scriptures teach, that he will destroy the wicked, as would Abraham. He said he would not destroy the righteous with the wicked. The wicked, the people who are bad people, bad people. I believe that wholeheartedly. I'm waiting on it. I have faith in that. It doesn't matter what you believe, how you believe, where you believe. Because the truth is not what you, it doesn't depend on your beliefs. It doesn't depend on your following it. So if that is the case, I'm not concerned about any of this other dumb stuff. Okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all has a good day because I said not more than 20.